Wow, what an amazing picture, don't you think? Yeah, I think it really embodies how a lot of Americans felt after the war. Definitely, I can feel the celebration. Just looking at these two, I can understand how they're feeling. This photo is disgusting. What? Why? That woman definitely did not know them. I mean, it kind of looks like assault to me. What are you talking about? That can't be right. How can a photo as iconic as this one be seen as wrong? Well, that's the problem. You're assuming the picture depicts what really happened. Yeah, like, do you know who the woman is or the man? No. Well, do you know if they're married or engaged? I can't tell. Well, that's our point. The photographer invites you to generalize this one snapshot of this one particular moment and then conclude your own ideal interpretation of what was actually happening at the time. Yeah, that's right. If you're assuming that the photograph depicted what really happened, but photos sometimes only depict whatever you assumed or imagined happened, or what the photographer wanted you to think happened. So you mean we imagine that image represents the American spirit because of how we imagine that era, even if the reality of the moment contradicts it? Exactly. It's the same thing as when models are photoshopped and put through hours of makeup in order to create an image of perfection that people are supposed to attain. The reality of those photos involves makeup, professional studios, and a lot of photoshopping. But you're biased enough to assume that whatever ends up in the final shot is the truth. But there's a lot of context that's missing. Yeah, this just shows just how images can have power and make us perceive things incorrectly because they lack the context. I'm not sure I understand, though, because most famous pictures become famous because they lack the context. That's what makes them so great and powerful. The audience has the ability to give them context and make them powerful. Think about it this way. Photographs invite us to generalize a moment and project our vision of what that moment should be rather than what it is. Wait, I think I get it. Contextual analysis allows us to look more closely at social relations. For example, these two. Right. We perceive photos as realistic, and then we make our own assumptions about what we think they're trying to say. Oh, so like a naturalist again for me. Exactly. We assume the photos are true or real, unless we're given a reason to think otherwise. 